Hello, it is Direct Mail Monday, February 15th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and I have received in the past week, of course, today being a holiday here in the United States, President's Day, no mail arrives. How can I do a Direct Mail Monday video? Because I share lessons in advertising, marketing, sales, communications from mail that has arrived usually in the past week. So this stuff arrived before today's non-mail day. Uh, and in fact, not even technically arriving uh, solo through the mail. They were both inserts into uh, um, uh, into uh, other mailings. So this one came uh, there, uh, through uh, Clipper coupon insertion, Clipper magazine, and this one through the Home Mag magazine insertion. But they both arrived a couple of days apart, and they are pretty much identical. So they're from the same company. It's the old fake door hang. You see the old thing here. Remove this perforated circle here and this uh, is cut on the dotted line, I guess, to hang it on the door as if you're going to take it out of your in-home mag or clipper coupon magazine and remove this circle and then hang it on your own door. And then what, I guess, knock on your own door and open it up and go, who's there? Oh, look, a door hanger. I must have missed the person. Like, really now? But anyway, I digress. So basically, a couple of things I want to point out, though, that uh, these are from the company. I share a lot of stuff from this company. They do a ton of advertising and marketing. This renewal by Anderson. So I am constantly getting bombarded with emails, direct mail, um, social media ads, uh, probably phone calls if I answer them. I don't answer the uh, calls from unknown numbers. They go right to voicemail on my phone with this new iPhone had that new thing on. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. And then when I call someone and they call me back, I'm like, oh, yeah, and right to voicemail. But anyway, uh, so basically uh, they've got different colors, right? Different wording here in the different offers you see on the back this one's all about save 200 on every window and 850 free on a door and uh, this one's all about oops this one's all about 40 percent off on a window or door and take an additional 200 but the same no money down no payment no interest for a year that's the same on both but otherwise different offers and then for tracking they've got different phone numbers so we try to reach you here's the number 480-296-0694, and here's our number, 480-612-0687. Then they got different websites for tracking also. This one drives me to my wonderful window. Where's my, there it is. Where's my finger? Mywonderfulwindow.com. This one on the back drives me to newflawlesswindow.com. Same company. Same, they even use a lot of the same elements. Here's the same stock photo guy with the window. Probably not their, it's their photo. Um, you know, same layout, same weasel clause language on the bottom of the back. Same mumbo jumbo legalese about whatever. Uh, you know, can't use with any other offer and whatever. So, same company, a lot the same, but you see for tracking purposes, different phone numbers, different websites on both. That's pretty much the big lesson learned here besides the inventive use of the mail piece. Uh, they could put a stamp on this and mail it, but they insert it into a, uh, a group mailing with a clipper coupon or the in-home magazine. Uh, so different offers in this one says this special ends Thursday, February 25th. And this one... Uh, Please respond by 228. So two totally different offers, three days apart. Uh, interesting concept. They're tracking them both. So maybe they're on purposely knowing everyone's getting both and saying, would I like to rather save 257 on every window or would I rather get 40% off uh, on a window? And the thanks for 200 and doing the math, figuring it out, and they'll see which one people call, which website they go to, and then Perhaps one will go away, and the other one will become there, what is known in the industry as a control. That's the piece you know that works. 
So one of these could be a control, the other one is a test, or they could be both be a test, but they can't both be a control. You only have one control, that's the proven ad, or in this case, insertion or email, website, whatever it is. It's your proven conversion uh, um, um, uh, tactic. Um, um, boy, I'm at a loss for words at the end of a big day of talking and being on calls all day long, and my brain is turning to mush. Um, but whatever your mechanism, your conversion mechanism is, uh, and I forget what I was saying about the rest of this, but anyway. Um, so there, oh yes, you can only have one control. Um, so one of these might be the control, they both might be a test, um, but that's, that's how you do it. When you test, you might test different offers, but certainly have different uh, response mechanisms for tracking. Different websites, different phone numbers. Don't shins out on that. Spend the 10, 20, 50 bucks, whatever you got to do to get various numbers, uh, register different websites. Uh, you can practically clone them, of course, but uh, if you really want to track results, you don't do the old, oh, hi, uh, and, and where'd you hear from us uh, about this offer, and where are you calling from, and what, because if you're, if, you're, if you're really a sharp business person, you're doing all kinds of different advertising and marketing, well, they complicated question that they don't even know how to answer. I mean, they saw your commercial on TV, and then they got an email. This thing arrived in the mail, and the person answered the phone and goes, how'd you hear about us? Like, oh, ooh, ah. I don't know, for years I've been getting your mailings and seeing your emails and your TV, and you can't get a, a valid uh, track. You can't track validly which one they responded to. You can do it with different offers. If this one said 257 on every window, and this one said 267 on every window, it's another way of tracking whatever offer they asked for. But it really helps to have the different phone number and the website for tracking. And too many small business owners don't do that. You, you chintz out, or you get lazy, or you don't even know. Well, now you know. Now it's a matter of doing math and realize that if you're investing money into advertising and marketing and sales in your business, you want to know what's working and what's not. It's like a mutual fund of stocks. Uh, every quarter, the mutual fund manager or every week or however often, he, he or she is looking over the basket of stocks and saying, this one's underperforming, I'm getting rid of it. And that thing we don't have, it's performing really well, let's add that one in. And it's got to be the same with your advertising and marketing. you got to track it as if it was a stock, as if it was something uh, your bank account your you know something you actually care about not just throw stuff out there and and lazily put the same numbers or same wet drive everything to the same website and then just guess or ask people or use all kinds of unscientific methods of traffic tracking don't do that follow the lead today the lesson on today's direct mail monday track your stuff properly so you absolutely know what's working what isn't what can be improved what needs to be thrown out, what needs to be kept, what needs to be done more of, all that kind of stuff. If you want help with this in more detail, I am doing strategy sessions all day long. Uh, you can go to helpfromsteve.com. Uh, my calendar's uh, fairly packed, but uh, you can squeeze it in there somewhere, and uh, we'll talk for a few minutes, and I'll point you in the right direction and help you out in one way or another, helpfromsteve.com. Otherwise, that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday. Thanks for being here today, and I'll be back tomorrow on Topical. Tuesday. I will catch you then. Over and out. Bye-bye.